So I got these motor mounts I didn't use and I really like this shape as you can tell from my last video. So I want to use this. So I think I'm just going to cut this off here and just do the same thing I did for the frame Z. Just fake rivet these, weld it all around, make it look like it's part. I'll actually weld it here and blend it so it's copacetic, one piece. I think it'll look real nice. see just got those ground down so now I am going to grind off the frame so I can get ready to weld them on.
could have used these. I forgot I had these. Alright. Frank, the holes I have are too big. Let's see what happens. Yep. Okay. So, I need to figure that out. I'm gonna weld these holes closed. Then try again. Once these cool down, I don't know if you can see them. Once I cool down, I will sand them flat and drill the correct size hole so these fake, not fake, they're real rivets, but these rivets go through the hole and I can make them look like they're actually riveted to the frame. Then I can weld it in.
probably as far as I'm going to get right now because I have to pull that motor and I don't have my hoist here. So, got it almost welded around. I can't get in the crack where it kind of touches the old motor mount. So, once I pull that, I'll weld that and kind of blend everything in so it looks like one piece. It looks good. It matches the the Z that we did last week and makes it look like I actually care about the car, which is what I'm going for. Alright, so another thing, cross my fingers, we might be getting a coupe body soon, 3031, Arizona, clean, need some, need some work, it looked like it's, it was an old hot rod, the, uh, was it, the wheel wells were cut for the axle to go through, the firewall's been cut, uh, not sure on the doors really, but the top is very nice. So, I think I've waited long enough. It's time to finally get one. It would also be pretty cool if you guys would hit that like button and subscribe. Tell your friends. Uh, There's going to be some cool stuff happening pretty soon, so.